Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrocker in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the uh, Weather Now link. It's just a little after 8.30, almost quarter or nine in the evening, giving you a quick update on what is a very, obviously, foggy night. A lot of humidity, some mist and drizzle, and getting some occasional showers and I do expect passing showers to continue uh, overnight through at least tomorrow morning. Take a look at pictures. Uh, this is Narragansett and you can see uh, some of the dense fog along the uh, coastline. The dense fog advisory for southern suburbs and the south shore but it's, it's really foggy everywhere but the worst visibility at this hour is along the coastline and this dense fog advisory will continue through or will expire at six o'clock on um, on Friday morning. You can take a look at some of the visibility and again it's foggy everywhere even places like uh, North Smithfield down to a half mile uh, but the worst of the visibility is along the uh, south shore and that's where we have the uh, the dense fog advisory. So this high humidity is in place for now and that is promoting um, well the dense fog obviously and additional albeit scattered showers tonight through tomorrow morning and even up until about early afternoon on, on Friday, we still anticipate drier air with some clearing by very late, late Friday afternoon and Friday evening. And actually, your Friday night is looking pretty good. Uh, this sets up for uh, a nice weekend, a cloud-sun mixture on Saturday, mostly sunny skies on Sunday. The weekend is dry and warmer, and even warmer temperatures for uh, next week. We'll show you that in the seven-day forecast, kind of summer-like. Speaking of summer... Uh, the summer solstice uh, officially arrives uh, at 11:54 on your uh, on your Friday morning. So I tell you what, though, <laughs> it won't be a pool day uh, for Friday. I mean, I don't see any sunshine until early evening. But we do have pool weather and beach weather coming up for Saturday, Sunday, and uh, even Monday of uh, of next week. We've got some uh, some warm weather on the way. In the meantime, satellite and radar composite shows there's not a lot of precipitation, though we do have mist and drizzle out there and low clouds. But you see elements of green, which indicates the showers uh, back through Pennsylvania, the Great Lakes, and upstate New York. So uh, this area of low pressure, where is it? Right here. This is going to track off to the east-northeast now through tomorrow morning into early afternoon, and that'll at least promote some scattered showers from time to time. Now behind that uh, system, the air dries out. When we talk about humidity and dew points, the dark, quite simply, the dark green represents high humidity and the lighter shading of green is drier air. So high dew points, high numbers mean, mean the muggy, humid air, which is in place right now. But you take note of that, of that drier air through uh, the Great Lakes right in here. This lower humidity is going to move in by early tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. And that's when we get the clearing and the and the comfortable weather over the weekend. Let me walk you through an hour of hour starting off um, this evening and overnight. You see the blips of green, which indicate at times some passing showers. The gray is the low clouds and fog. This is um, 7 o'clock in the morning. Still a chance of some scattered showers uh, passing through. And take you up till uh, noontime. This is 12 o'clock. Still a, a random passing shower. Uh, humid for now. But then watch what happens late day. Um, late in the afternoon around 5 o'clock there may be, this is right here is kind of the last hurrah, a few more isolated showers but look just to our north and west by 5 o'clock, it's already starting to clear and that clearing is working in so between roughly 5 and 8 o'clock in the evening we're clearing out and considering the sun doesn't set until almost 8.30 we'll actually see some sunshine during the 7 and 8, and 8 o'clock hour and this actually sets up for some breezy, dry, clear, comfortable weather uh, for your Friday night so for Friday morning, uh, clum, fog and clouds likely, some uh, leftover showers, temperatures starting off uh, mid and upper 60s. And then during the afternoon, uh, up and through at least mid-afternoon, the chance of a scattered shower, then take note of some of the clearing by uh, early evening. And this sets the stage for um, some pretty decent weather over the weekend. I think the only downside with Saturday, it'll be a windy day. If you have boating plans, um, there'll be gusts 25, 30 miles per hour, but at least it's sunny, dry, and it's warmer too. So we have to be patient, but um, by Friday evening and Friday night, things uh, clearing out and uh, the weekend is looking pretty good. I'm getting ready to, what time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock, so getting ready to go on the air shortly with our 10 o'clock newscast on Fox Providence. I'll be back on at 11 o'clock on WPRI Channel 12, and meteorologist Michelle Muscatello in bright and early on your Friday morning starting at 4.30 a.m.
that's your latest weather now update uh thanks for logging in and we will what happened to my mouse <laughs> my cursor we'll talk to you soon all these computers